This video describes the installation of RTD temperature probes on the Accent's Model A113 wireless temperature pod. The Model A113 comes with these accessories. An AC adapter, three AA batteries for backup power, a user guide, and a pinout diagram. In addition, you'll need the probes that you'll be hooking up. The A113 will accept up to three of them. The only tools required are a screwdriver and a pair of needle-nosed pliers with side cutters. This is the RTD probe, normally used in refrigerators or freezers. Its range is from minus 100 to plus 100 degrees Celsius. It has three wires for connection to the A113, two of one color and one of a different color. Most commonly, there are two whites and a red. Here is the pinout diagram that comes with the pod. It describes how to hook up the probes to the pod. The close-up view shows the terminal block, the numbering of the pins, and the location of the wires to be connected. In order to visualize the connection order, hold the pod so that the accents label is upside down and the terminal block, also called a Phoenix connector, is pointed downward. In this position, the terminal number one will be on the left. Before installing the probes, check the stripped length and shorten the length of exposed wires to a quarter inch if necessary in order to prevent any shorting of the wires at the terminal block. Then hold the pod as shown and select either of the common colored probe wires, usually these are the two whites, and they are the positive connections as shown on the card. Insert the wire fully into the cavity below the screw at pin number one then tighten the screw in a clockwise direction looking down until the connection bar rises up to clamp the wire in place. Insert the second white wire at pin 2 and tighten as before. Insert the uniquely colored wire which is normally the red one at pin number 3. This is the negative connection. Tighten it as described before. Then pull on each wire to be sure that it is firmly fixed in place. Two more probes can be installed exactly as described before, except starting at pin 4 or pin 7. And the pod should look like this when everything is properly installed.